As an educational professional, your highest priority is guiding students to opportunities that will result in successful futures. We would like you to consider that one of these opportunities might very well be the United States Marine Corps. Several times a year, educators from around the country gather to attend an educator's workshop at Marine Corps recruit depots at Paris Island, South Carolina and San Diego, California. The Educator Workshop is a very important program to us. It's our opportunity to educate the educators, to inform them about the Marine Corps. The Educator Workshops are hosted by the Marine Corps and all expenses associated with the workshop are paid by the Marines. In some cases, educators may receive continuing education credit. In San Diego, the workshop begins just as it would for any new male recruit from west of the Mississippi, arriving at the depot on the Yellow Footprints. On behalf of the Commanding General, congratulations on your decision to attend this workshop. The only thing out of your mouth will be yes sir, no sir, and aye aye sir. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir! Get up and get on my bus right now! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know a lot about the Marines, so therefore I can't really say, oh yes, you really need to do this. I need more information. At Paris Island, educators from New York and New Jersey arrive at the same yellow footprints as all males east of the Mississippi and all female recruits from around the country. Hurry up and get off the bus! I'm hoping to find out through the recruits what their experience has been like. Would they recommend a student to enter the Marine Corps and why? Stand up straight right now, put your feet flat on the deck, and get your hands off your face. Scream my mouth. Scream my mouth. Now, that was my attention getter. How'd that work? <laughs> the educators are awesome, and we're glad to have them here because they are actually reinforcing the same ideas, the same goals, the same values, the same ideologies that we do here. Um, that's honor, courage, and commitment. During the course of the workshop, the educators get to experience some of the very same challenges as the recruits, including the obstacle course. Uh, that wasn't too bad, huh? I did all right for an old guy, huh? The leadership reaction course. Uh, we failed our mission. Ran out of time. Uh, yep, didn't have enough teamwork, I don't think. And the rope climb. Upon graduating from recruit training, many Marines take advantage of the opportunities for continuing education while still in the Corps. This is the best place to exploit the opportunity to go to class. Uh, right now I'm taking three college courses myself. It goes beyond college also. Currently we are looking into getting our Cisco certification classes and Microsoft certification classes. Was I surprised about the continuing educational opportunities for Marines? I'm just overwhelmed by it. On the last day of the workshop, the educators have a private breakfast with Brigadier General Salinas. I want to begin by thanking each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy schedules for what you do every single day for the youth. And let me tell you something, those bottom 10% that you guys kind of look at and think that we'll fix, we don't want them. We want bright, hard-charging, young, good kids. Your best students who are thinking about going to college and they're trying to find a right way. The culminating moment will always be that drill instructor will hand them that Eagle Globe and Anchor and call him Marine for the very first time. And that we will never change. My company, you have the responsibility of being the next generation of Marines that carries our glorious core into the future. The ceremony today was it was an emotional one. Oh, that was all these kids out there, or young men. I didn't even know. You could tell they were proud. This is awesome! I don't get emotional very often, and I got emotional just because of the sheer magnitude of, of what that means for them personally and for their families and, and the commitment that they've made. It was awe-inspiring, I think, to watch, and even more as a citizen and a civilian, to watch the commitment that they're willing to make for our country. I was a skeptic. I wish every educator could see what goes on here. I think it would just change their opinions. I was very skeptical when I came to the workshop here about 
you know, even recommending the Marines to my students. If that's something that they really want to do, I would say, hey, go for it. I'd consider becoming a Marine if I was younger. Um, unfortunately, there's age limits and I'm a little too old now. For more information or to attend a workshop, please contact your local recruiter or call 1-800-MARINES.